First, it's going to be team one of Alex Vardica and Nico Veshrenen, who's made the long trip from Finland in Europe. And they're up against Mario E. Solena and Kevin Fares. Referees ready. Who will win this battle? Fares and E. Solena struggling early on. Team one just about getting the better of it so far. The team two battling back now. Fares and Aysona yanking this rope towards them. We haven't got a winner yet. We've got a slip there. Still we go on. And now the battle's over. And it's victory for team one. Yeah. Oh. So team one go into the next round. Now it's the turn of team three. Luke Herrick and Thiago Aparecido. Up against the combination of Marcus Ferrari and the giant, Sean O'Hagan. O'Hagan taking the back position here. He's wrapped into the rope. And we'll see how long this one lasts. It's the Irish-Brazilian combo there. Up against Luke Herrick and Aparcido. Just past the 22nd mark. It looks like a deadly victory here for Team 3. Team number 3, straight in the semi-finals as well. That was a good pool, man. Yeah, we enjoyed it. We had a little strategy, we me and him talked. I know I don't speak English, <laughs> but we can understand and stay low. Didn't speak English, still speak the, the strategy. Yes, sir. It worked out. Well done, and good luck in the semi-finals, man. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, good tactics there from Team 3. They're the winners, and they are through to the semi-finals. Worth pointing out that even if you do lose your first round duel, you could still go through as the lucky loser, so it's not all over yet. So far, it's been the two teams to the right of your picture that have gone through. And this one, Team 5 against Team 6. Moon in there, you can see in the yellow on the left. Pake alongside him. Zagaris on the right-hand side with Enzo Tauro. They're slipping a bit. Communication key, as we just heard in that interview before. This one isn't going to be over for a while yet. Although it could be now as they reach the line. And it's victory for team number five of Tauro and Zagaris. Wow, that was a really heavy pull. It took very long, but on the end, you win it. It was a very hard battle. And I think one of the best teams in here. So we are very happy to get a couple points. So it is victory for Team 5. They're the third team to go through, but who will join them? It's time for the lucky draw. Which team will go through? Will it be two, four, or six? It's team number four. So there's a reprieve for Sean O'Hagan and Marcus Ferrari. So the short one and the tall one, still in the game. Lucky draw. You still have another chance in the semi final. Have a good look, no man. We. Oui. Yeah, we made a few mistakes on the first one, but we'll get past it and we'll get it. We've done this time. So no mistakes in the semi-final? Oh, definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. Good luck, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. So here's how the draw looks then. It's going to be a semi-final of Varnica and Vestrinen against Team 3 of Herrick and Apolicido. The other one will be Zagaris and Tauro against lucky team number 4 of O'Hagan and Ferrari. They will meet in the semi-finals with a third-place playoff and the finals still to come. Hold tight, everyone. It's time for round two. Herrick and Aparcido to the right here. Vardica and Veshren of Team 1 to the left, looking to secure their place in the final. You can see the line there in the middle. As soon as one of the strong men passes that, it's all over. And it's pretty even between these two so far, although 
It looks now like Team 3 are getting the better of this as they pull away to the right-hand side. Team 1 really struggling. Team 3 close to victory and they've done it. Team 3 going to the tug of war final here. Okay guys, you did it. Into the finals. <laughs> Absolutely. We worked our butts off. Teamwork. Stay low. Work the feet. Here we are. <laughs> minimum minimum 10 points. You go for the 12, right? Let's do it. Everyone desperate for the points at this stage and it's victory for Team 3 as they go into the final. Team 4 now of O'Hagan and Ferrari. Lucky by definition to be here at this stage up against Zagaris and Tauro. Tauro getting strapped in at the back. O'Hagan on the other side. And Tauro going well here with Zagaris. And that yellow jersey pretty much dead centre at the moment. O'Hagan and Ferrari slowly slipping away. Oh, coming up now, coming up, once again trying to attempt. Team 5, looking good here, Zagaris and Tauro pulling further and further. Have Ferrari and O'Hagan got anything left? Oh, they're pulled over now, and Zagaris and Tauro have done it. So it's victory for Team 5, and they will meet Team 3 in the final. So this is what we have then, a Team 3, Team 5 final. Team 4 lucky to reach the second round, but they were knocked out, while Vardica and Vesteren's journey was also ended early. Find out who wins this event, all the action coming next. First we start then with the third place playoff between O'Hagan and Ferrari in Team 4, and Team 1 of Vardica and Vestrin. Everything reset, referees ready, and this penultimate tug of war underway. Vardica and Vestrin edging this one at the moment, and O'Hagan slip is going to give victory for team number one. They take third place and get some all important points. Curacao and Finland, it looks like a golden team, third place so far. Yeah, boy. Against the big giant. <laughs> yeah. You, Unbelievable. You, you beat the big giant. <laughs> so happy. So happy. Yeah, I, me too. Uh, very heavy guys. <laughs> but technique. <laughs> yeah, it was a technique. You both were hanging. Yeah. And then it was a last pull. Yeah. yeah. One last hard pull. And then I was like, what's happening? <laughs> Down they go. Well, those two absolutely delighted with that. It is victory for team one. Now it's the final, the moment we've been waiting for, the biggest tug of war of them all. Luke Herrick and Thiago Aparecido to the right, Enzo Tauro and Danis Zagaris, last year's world champion, to the left. Who's going to come out on top in this ultimate battle of strength? They have plenty of time to think about how they're going to tackle this one. Aparcido and Herrick looking good. Now it's edged back the other way for Zagaris and Tauro. Who's going to win? Well, it's going to be victory for team number three. They are the winners, and Luke Herrick is off to celebrate in spectacular fashion. You better watch out if you're in that water. You never know when a strong man is going to throw themselves towards you. Look, this will be a famous dive into the water after your best pool of your life. <laughs> I practiced that dive, but it was worth it. We put a lot of work into this, this tug of war, me and him, so I'm proud. So confirmation, team three of Thiago Aparecido and Luke Herrick are the winners. Alex and Mariancello, the beasts from Curacao. It ends here for you. Last event, number 11 and 12, Falls off, eliminated. Still, though, I want to hear your opinion. How did you like it? Well, it, uh, it was fun. I enjoyed it. Uh, it was a rough battle. We have one of the best, strongest men that came here in Curaçao. Uh, it is the strongest Champions League, so that's what you would expect. We gave it all, and uh, we had fun. It, uh, it, was, it, was a, it was a good fight. Happy to hear that. 
Alex, your opinion about this? Yeah, it was an awesome day. It was a really awesome day. These, these days I cherish. Uh, this sport is mine. This sport, we're trying to make this sport great here in Curaçao, trying to get more strongmen into the game. And this, this is exactly what we need to get more athletes into it. And next year will be better, will be greater. Well, good determination from both of them. They are left out of the competition from here on in. The confirmation victory for Team 3 in the tug of war, the fourth event. So here are the standings from that one. Tiago Aposido and Luke Herrick taking maximum points. They beat Zagaris and Tauro in the final.